It's the end of an era. All that spare change I used to get. Sorry, I spilled Bud Light on you. I wrote a song. <clears throat> Sorry. Here we go. The crisp, refreshing taste of Bud Light. Here we go. The Jeff Fisher Show, brought to you by Bud Light, Buffalo Wild Wings, Super Park, and Dobbs Tyrant Auto. Hey, welcome into Buffalo Wild Wings. It's the Jeff Fisher Show and another Victory Monday. God, we like Victory Mondays, don't Yes, we? sir. Victory Mondays are great. I was driving over here today to Marco thinking, you know, who would be great for the show? Who? I'll tell you who would be great. The guy that played just about every position yesterday, Roger Saffold. And, and Roger Saffold is, is here tonight. <laughs> That's exactly what I was thinking. That's yes. a true story. <laughs> That's a true story, and Roger, we, first of all, we appreciate you taking time tonight. Thank oh, you. Oh, yeah, this is awesome, man. I always have a great time with you guys. Show Steve your arm. Look at that. I've, Show him the arm. Look at yeah, this. I'm, Look at the bruises on this oh, thing. Yeah. <laughs> the strange thing, Steve, this is what I miss the most. I miss this right I here. Know it. Yes. I know it. You do. There's, there's Badge what, of honor. It reminds you on Monday what you've done on Sunday. Yes. What, what happened? What happened there? Okay, basically, uh, I, I put somebody into the ground, and then Zach Stacy kind of stepped on my arm and leaped into the end zone. So. Oh. He used you as a platform to yeah. get into the, oh, okay. Yeah. Friendly fire. Friendly yeah. fire. Yeah. yeah. Fire. Collateral damage. I got to stop using my elbow as a weapon. Yeah. <laughs> Ground and pound. <laughs> that little guy is having a phenomenal season. I mean, didn't start the first four games. Here he is on the verge of 1,000 yards. I mean, you have to be impressed. Oh, absolutely. Uh, like I said, he's a, he's a very, very humble guy. And, uh, you know, it seems that his humility is showing all of his success. I mean, just a guy that just wants to go out every week and get better. I mean, you have no choice but to be successful. You guys having fun blocking for him? Oh, absolutely. I love run attempts. I love having, like, half the game be run attempts, and then, you know, when it's time to pass, like, they don't know what's going on. So you loved it when uh, Jeff Fisher and Brian Schottenheimer recommitted to the run game after week four. Absolutely. Um, <laughs> absolutely. Hey, Big man. smile. <laughs> so, so Jake goes down yesterday. Yeah. We just, you and I were just talking Friday about playing guard and how much we think, you know, you just seem like a natural fit in there. And then Jake goes down, and now you go back to left tackle, and you play very, very good football. What's going through your mind about at that point, and what kind of transition do you have to make mentally to make the jump from right guard to left tackle? Um, well, actually, you know, as soon as he got hurt, uh, I was more worried about him. Uh, then when we saw him get caught off the field, I knew, you know, what I had to do. Um, to prepare myself before the game, I always – try a little bit of left tackle, right tackle, left guard, and right guard sets, you know, so I can warm myself up. And then it just comes to, you know, the first hit, getting the speed of the game again on the left side. Um, so, you know, I'm, I'm a little bit more calm. I'm a little bit more passive on the at tackle. So that's basically how I take my mind state. And when I get to the line, I just make sure I breathe in, breathe out, and get ready to do what I have to do. Your first snap at left tackle, I saw you, you about jump three feet forward. Oh, yeah. If you would have caught him with that, you might have knocked him out. <laughs> yeah, I did see that. But is there any uh, carryover from – is there anything you can learn as a tackle through guard or vice versa? Yeah, going from guard to tackle is, is good because you have to use your hands a lot faster. And it seems that, like, when you're at left tackle, you get to use your hands slower. So you're able to see where you need to punch. So basically, if you're looking where you want to punch, you're going to sink it in every time. First rep next to Chris, though, right, all year long? So the yeah. communication aspect, you're lined up now next to Chris Williams for the first time. How does that and how does that transition go? Um, basically, it, you know, it just comes down to just, you know, are you going to be compatible with the entire offensive line? I mean, I know I played next to, play next to Harvey. I played next to Joe. I played next to Tim. I played next to Scott. You know, but at the same time, it's all about communication and being able to do your job. And at the end of the day, you know, it could have been anybody lined up next to me. We're going to get the job done.